Do we deserve to be wiped off the face of this earth? Well, actually, yes. Let me explain. If we go back more than 3,000 years, we see that the Hebrews were in slavery in Egypt, suffering terrible oppression, crying out to God in their misery. And God came down and graciously saved them, delivered them out of that fiery furnace and led them through the desert, providing them with food and water, guiding them by his spirit. And were they grateful? No. They murmured, they complained, they grumbled, so as to provoke God's anger. And Moses many times had to pray for them. Now this reached a climax when Moses was on the mountain receiving the law of God. And while Moses was there 40 days on the mountain with God, what were the people doing below? Grumbling, murmuring. Where is this fellow Moses? We don't know what's happened to him. Aaron, they said, why don't you make for us a God to go before us, one that we can see? So Aaron sinfully collected gold and made a golden calf and declared to the people, here is your God, O Israel. Now when Moses came down from mountain. He was shocked and God was angry, very angry, rightfully so. And he said to Moses, let me alone that my anger may blaze against this people and destroy them completely and I will make you a better people. But again Moses pleaded for the people and again Moses and God forgave them and had mercy upon them. Now though, though God had mercy upon them, it has to be admitted that these people really deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. But what about today? Are we any better? Is there one nation any better? No. We've all sinned. We've all broken God's commandments. We have shed innocent blood. We have corrupted the earth by vile sexual immorality. And we've made our own gods according to our own ideas. And we deserve to be utterly destroyed. Who will stand in the gap for us? Who will avert the righteous wrath of God? There is one, Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of God who intercedes for us like Moses, but much more than Moses, who also takes the destruction that we deserve. He was wiped off the face of the earth for us, for our sin. And they put him in a cold, dark tomb, but death couldn't hold him. And three days later, he rose triumphant over sin and death. And that's why we're here. That's why we haven't been wiped off the earth. Because Jesus saves from the wrath of God. And whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But those who do not obey the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God remains on them. May God bless you.